one fight all right let's start off on genic the winner and currently first placeman in the na challenger league Do we get some information though off of that? Did see where Genic was. Genic running quickly around the map. Are well, Dewey's playing really slow. Looks like they may be trading out items here. Genic going in the upper to see if Dewey was going to challenge, but the players opted to uh, take their own side routes. Play slow, trade off items. But looks like Dewey is actually opting to delay the heavy. Genic does hear that. Here's the jump pad. Fighting with the LG. Doing a lot of good damage. Dewey has had much return. Genic missing the rail would have almost been the finisher. Back to a quiet game. Phoenix just listening now. Does it. Team with the tickle damage. LG onto Dewey. Both players missing any 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 major damage at that point, but now with a delayed heavy, Genie can actually move and get it for himself. He has a huge stack now. Trying to get piercing sight back up, pick some of, up some of those vials. Piercing sight now sees where Dewey is. Seeing if Dewey is gonna back away or if he's gonna try to challenge for that mega. Genic potentially giving up that mega to see if he can get a frag here on to Dewey. Both players just playing slow, leaving now both items are gonna be up. It's probably gonna be a traded item unless Dewey decides. And Dewey does opt to go for the heavy. Still a traded item, it looks like Genic's not committing to the fight. Interesting little spectator rail right there. Dewey doing great damage. Genic using his visor. Being the peaker plus forward. And trading out the items. Zero to zero now. The grand or the finals of the challenger week six. This would be a big victory for Dewey. I think the winner of this gets 200 points added on to their total. Neither players want to budge. They both want to play it smart, slow, safe. Make sure they're doing everything they can to ensure that they are the ones coming out the victor. Dewey looks like he's the one over not over committing, but committing more to the fights than, than Genic really is feeling comfortable to. I don't know if Genic's just not been watching some of Dewey's plays and maybe just trying to like counteract some of the things he's been doing versus previous matchups but so the winner of this ooh Dewey does end up getting the frag picks up the heavy for his victor the winner of this according to Brew will be the first place in challenger so whoever wins this it's on the line Genic pushing in. Only has a LG, but he's hitting the shots and he needs to, and Dewey's missing his. Tying the game one to one. He's using the visor, knowing exactly what Dewey's planning on doing next. Looks like Dewey's standing over by the rockets while Genic opts to go get refresh his ammo on all of his guns. Make sure he's ready and prepared for the next fight they may have coming up here shortly. Playing a little slow, making sure he has everything he needs. Takes a little bit of self damage to uh, ensure. Using Peeker. Oh, great damage though by Genie pushing in now after he picks up the Mega. Dewey extremely weak. Gets the frag. Looks like he's now stacking back up. He still has a good starting, a good stack. If Dewey were to opt to challenge right off the spawn. 
Five minute warning. Phoenix knows the time, whereas Dewey is just crossing his fingers, hoping he can get the correct time to do a little bit of damage off. But he opts to, opts to go plus back instead. And now, this is Dewey's chance to get like a little bit of stack going for himself. Maybe he can turn this map around because it seems like Genic is like starting to do a lot of this damage that, as we see here, look at that rail, LG, massive, massive damage onto Dewey. Dewey is, oh my god, what a great, strong, moving rail. Check out these uh, these damage values right now. Looks like Genic is up about 350 damage at this stage. Dewey trying to challenge for the heavy, just sitting on it. Genic hits the rail. Stacks again, pretty even at this stage. Now the Dewey has picked up the heavy. Dewey gets both items here. Enoch really is doing the damage to keep, even though Dewey picked up both the items, Dewey is not having too large of a stack because Genie's doing great damage. Trying to peek her again to get a little bit of damage off or some, some more knowledge of what's going on. But he did quickly killing that peeker, making sure there's nothing else, no extra damage, no unnecessary things happening to him. Still a really slow, close game. Both players, again, not wanting to give up any ground to each other. Genic is fine with giving up some of these items as long as he's doing some damage off of it. If that figure comes out again, doesn't do a whole lot. Hasn't had much effect, hasn't been very effective this whole match. He is now up. Dewey's going to be plus forwarding as he's been doing quite heavily, but Genic gets it unscathed. Uses piercing sight. See? We then opting to back away, picking up the vials for himself, make sure he can deny them from Visor. And just pretty even traded damage, but Mega's up and Dewey ends up picking it up. Nick just trying to keep his Lee alive. Two minutes left in this match. <laughs> Uses Visor does huge damage and gets the frag onto him with a minute and a half left. Up now two. And the way this pace of this game is going, I'm not sure if Dewey can come back from that. It's only been four frags exchanged in eight minutes. Oh, with a great rail, though. Phoenix is now the weak one. If Dewey can hit this, he can definitely plus forward with confidence. He misses the jump, I think, over to the bone side. One minute warning. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, no, he can't! It goes up four to one. Such a close fight. Unfortunate for Dewey. Looks like he may be losing map one. I think last week these players had also played, uh, but but Dewey had actually lost both maps in a row. So let's hope that this loss doesn't put him in that mindset again, where he's like feels like he needs to do whatever else and not not have slow close games like this. Because this game has been slow and close. Both players have been doing great damage, creating items. There's one frag, but can he make two frags in 10 seconds on a Molten Falls? I don't think so. You lose. 
here we go map one molten falls going to our current first placement genic Well done. Lot, lot, almost 900 more damage than Dewey had output. So quite a lot more damage than, than expected, to be honest. Do you advertise yourself in the Quake channel? Eh, I mean, I don't care. It's fine. If someone wants to, like, give me a shout-out, that's fine. But I'm not going to go, like, give me viewers, guys. Oh, it sounds, seems kind of cheesy, you know. I don't care. It is fine. So yeah, Slash has it right. The top two challengers in NA and the top two challengers in EU go against the bottom two QPL Round players of their game. regions. Three, two, one, fight. <laughs> and both must win. All right, so. Oh, great starting rocket by Dewey with the orb. Not doing a lot of damage outside of that. And actually gets knocked off the map. So it's going to be one to one. Dewey picking up the mega. Rocket jumping quickly to get over to the heavy. Does pick up that as well, but still only left on a one, uh, 100 health. A little below. Good damage. And he actually gets the follow of Frag. Genic messes up the jump over to the health. Dewey giving up a mega. Genic pushing in hard. Challenge for this heavy. Super weak. Great damage by Dewey with that rocket, evening up the stacks. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? He catches Genic off guard. Genic now picking up 50 bubbles. Wow. Great job by Dewey. Persistent right there. Trying his best. He's the heavy pickup, so now he knows the time. He does have a larger stack, but Dewey has the guns. But Genix pushing in directly with a shotgun and actually gets two good shots to get the frag. Dewey should know that this is about 15 now. Trying to challenge again, plus four, goes hard, and he gets the frag! I don't think Genic was expecting that. Being Ranger, he can rocket jump up, take minimal damage, pick up those 50 bubbles. Or 50 health, 25 bubbles. Good nail damage again onto Genic. Genic does pick up the... Uh... Oh, jeez. I think Genic pushed in now after he took that damage out of frustration. It seemed like there's really no reason for him to continue the pressure. Dewey now five to two. Series score is Genic is up one map at this stage, but this is gonna keep going the way it is. Very close fight.
five to two. Dewey pretty weak at this stage. Dewey trying to cut him off. Dewey getting a hundred damage rocket. Dewey extremely weak as well. Mega will be the next one. It's another good rocket damage. Could, could push in and he does. Gets six to two. Mega is going to be up. He's going to have that to push off of. Oh, but Genic is going to get the better of that. And he actually picks up a heavy, too. So he can pick up the health. Pushing into the LG area. Dewey does have the HMG, so he could get some good damage off. And if he wants, he could probably push in and challenge for this Mega. And he looks like that's what he's going to do. Genic falling back, knowing he can't push in into the potential orb rocket combo that Dewey has been putting out this whole match. Dewey, not really sure what he needs to do. He just, I think he's messing up his mouse movement just by not being able to hit that turret, but... You know, trying to find a, a way to get into a good position here for the Mega. It's now below. Dewey should have the time. Doesn't want to give it up. It knows Genic is a player who likes to be aggressive and push in at unexpected times to get some frags. Great damage, but... Oh! Almost a frag for either player, but nothing ends up actually happening at the end of the day. Low health by both players. Heavy is up right now. Dewey's starting to push in, but runs to a position where Genie can actually do damage off of that. So I'm not too sure what he was trying to accomplish after that, but good orb to get out. Apparently, I'm not switching point of views. I apologize. This is the final. Rockets aren't updated? Well, they should be. Here we go. We're now on Genie's point of view. Six minutes in, six to six. A lot of six is going on. Is this the devil? I don't know. We're going to find out. One devil of a game. Mega and Heavy are both coming up at the same time, but for some reason, Genic opts to not try to cut Dewey off and get the Mega position for himself. He's going to give it up directly to Dewey. Deciding that's the better choice, apparently. Not something I would have done. Genic low on ammo, not really able to challenge too much on this. That's good damage though. Picks up the LG ammo packet. Can challenge if he wants for this heavy, but Dewey doesn't exact doesn't have exact time and set orbs onto the heavy. Oh. And because of that, it gives both items. Oh, but it's a good rocket onto onto Genic as Genic's trying to get out. Away from that LG area. Let's look real quick. Oh, nope. Looks like Dewey's coming to challenge for this. Dewey's just looking like he wants to go plus forward now. Took a hundred damage rocket. Heavy is up. Both players pretty weak. If Genic wins this map, he will take this match and take another three week in a row victory. It's going to put him massively ahead of the rest of these players. Showing his stuff today. Eight to six. Showing he deserves to be in the QPL. He deserves to go to Italy and challenge for a spot. Pushing so much pressure onto Dewey. Dewey orbs in. Not healthy enough. Takes 
Just a little bit less, a little more tickle LG. Oh, can he do it? Oh, there we go. He switches over to the LG just to finish it off. Awesome. Awesome. True rocket combo. I wanted the air rocket too. <laughs> this girl is like, can he do it? Does the smart play. Switches over to the LG. This match is looking all but over. 11 to 6. A minute and 20 seconds left. Do we just knowing I need to go a plus forward? Even though I've been doing it all game, I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe I can get a frag one of these times. But Genix doing a great job denying that pressure. Do we rock a jumping has the heavy, but Mega's not going to be up here for a few seconds. Genix plus backing. Trying to get the position that allows him to, to stay on the outside where Major Riders are. No, he doesn't have to push in. Here's the rocket jump. Here's the orb. Spams the portal exit where Dewey has to push through, and there we go. Here's 12 to, 12 to 6. Dewey has left the game. Oh, boy! Woo! And there it is. And there it is. Well freaking play, dude. Genic is an absolute unit. There you go. He's going to run around the map now. Gauntlet out. Threatening his stuff. Looking beautiful. You win. Well freaking done. Genic. It says Dewey versus Dewey. It is a match. Dewey versus himself. Unfortunately.